thanks for dropping in. I recently designed several 3D printed containers using sliding shutter doors, a long pencil case, a heart with two compartments, and this cute mini case. This week, I have one last container to wrap up the series. This is my teabag shutter box. Unlike my earlier designs, this is more like a traditional roll top box. Inside, you'll find many tiny ribs that can hold subdivider inserts. There's also a decorative spot in the front for adding your own customized label or design. For this print, I use the text tool in the latest Alpha Build Aprucia Slicer. It's surprisingly easy and definitely worth checking out. Unfortunately, this box is quite large, and that can be a problem for some smaller printers. So I've also made a shorter version that'll fit on any printer with a bed that's at least 180 by 100 millimeters. That's all the new stuff in terms of features, so let's get to assembly. You'll need a left case, a right case, the shutter, two staples, a sign, and if you choose to add them, several dividers. Depending on your print, you may need glue, but I'm going to skip it for this build. First, let's slide the shutter into the left case. This should move freely. Next, we'll add the right case. The cases are held together with two removable staples. One staple goes in the back, here, and the other is hidden behind the front wall. These should be tight and won't slide out on their own. If they aren't too tight, you can pry them out later with a flathead screwdriver and a little effort. Finally, let's add the sign. For this print, I added a plain vertically printed sign that has the same legs as the staples. If you choose to print a flat sign, you'll probably need to glue it in. Hot glue would be a good option, so you could switch the sign out later. And there we go, another Shutterbox done. These seem to be popular gifts. I better get back to printing. So until next time, happy printing, and thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Here's a little bonus model for you. By request, the mini shutter box has been remixed. It now has a loop for a carabiner clip. To make it more secure, the ends of the loop nestle inside each other. That way, even if the case splits slightly, the clip won't be able to slide out of the gap. If you plan ahead, you can install even smaller clips or a key ring during the initial assembly. Okay, now this is the last Shutterbox design for a while. I'll have something new for you next time. See you then!